In Miami, the Secret Service has turned a department store into a trap. Be advised, target heading southbound. Roger that. But there's no guarantee the suspect will take the bait, even with an undercover agent in on the scam. You do all this work for this one day, for this couple hours of an operation, and it might not go. So yeah, are, are we anxious? Yeah. Is it, is it the stakes higher? Yes. And when a guy comes, no. Everybody's excited, like, OK, we might have something here. Surveillance cameras have been patched into a clandestine network. Remote controls let agents track the action. The suspect and his accomplices don't have a clue they're being tracked by the US Secret Service. You set up your perimeter, you set up your surveillance, and then you control everything, the ins and outs, the exits. You know, if that person goes this way, you already have units set up to go northbound, you have units set up to go southbound. So you have everything in place. So you want to bring that guy into the web. You know, once you bring that guy into the web, it's kind of hard to get out of. Inside, the counterfeiters meet up with their connection and begin to loot the store. They start picking out TVs and electronics and video consoles, anything that costs a lot of money, like these Xboxes, and they're like $400, $500. And then the televisions would cost like about $1,200 to $1,500. They order up a pallet full of high-end electronics, gear with top resale value, and head for the register. To make a profit, the gang plans to return the merchandise to other stores and pocket the cash refund. The gang pulls out a roll of bogus bills. The undercover team has been waiting for just this moment. When they come up with the merchandise, I would take the counterfeit, give it to my guy, he puts it in a separate compartment of the drawer, and then we give him a receipt. The counterfeit keeps coming. Some $5,000 in fake money. But the scheme is worthless without receipts. The hustler's proof of purchase. They want a separate receipts because you can't put it all on one. If you put it all on one, it's going to flag. And they need to split the, the merchandise up between their, their group. So a cer certain group can take the merchandise to one store, and the other group can take it to another store. They can't all take all this stuff to one store. The UC plays his part to the final moment. His skills are critical for a safe, clean takedown. He sidetracks the counterfeiters knowing that if they suspect a setup, the arrest could get dangerous. You try to distract them one last time so they won't see the, the arrest teams coming in, you know, like, hey, help me put this in the truck. So they open up the trunk. He had this SUV with these speakers in the back, and we had no room to put the, the TVs. So I'm looking at it, and I'm like, well, where are you going to put all these TVs? And you didn't think of that, you know? But they never, they never think. All they think about is the money, OK? I want to make quick money, and I want to make it fast, and that's how they do it. So he comes, he looks at me, he said, well, can I take it back down? I said, Wait, you mean at the same store? You're going to buy $5,000 worth of goods, and you want to take it all back at the same store? I'm like, no, you can't do that. So then I gave you the arrest signal. Right, right the arrest team rounds up the gang, the goods, even their car enough evidence to convict them. When my team comes after you and we put you in jail, you belong there. You know, because there is no, well, I don't know if he did it or not. No, you did it. We caught you on tape, and you need to go to jail.